Our earliest little memory is but when I was seven and I was playing for fun just at my local park and it was with my brother, I was on the same team as my brother, and uh, we'd gone to a final on the Sunday and we were up 4-1 after with about 10 minutes left to go and out of nowhere they equalised, scored three goals in quick succession and so I was obviously quite nervous about, about losing because my first final I'd played in and uh, it was the last minute of the game. I dribble on the right hand side and I played it across to my brother. Takes a touch, slides it bottom right and we end up winning the final last minute, 5-4. And everyone's going crazy obviously because it was my, my first term I'd won and I jumped into my mom's arms and yeah, it was just it was a special memory. First, first thing I'd ever won in football, so. It was actually a local team, because um, I'd played, up, played for fun up until I was about eight. You'd play a new team every year. And then I went to a team called Newport Mesa up in California, where I met a guy named Chris Klein, who played for like Galaxy. He was he was the coach at the time, and he saw me play a random game and asked me to join the team, and I joined, and that's when I kind of started taking it seriously. About eight, eight years old or so. I'll say my whole family, obviously, because they're very supportive, but especially my mom and my dad. My mom will take me to every training session, take me to every game, cook me every meal, you know, making sure I stay on the ball, I'm always, you know, focus on what I have to do. And then obviously my dad is the guy who's always taking me to um, the park after training to do extra stuff, to tune up on whatever I need help on, always, you know, give me encouragement, make sure I'm also on the ball and just getting better. I'd say I could play three positions, left wing, right wing or striker. Um, I feel like no matter where I go, um, willing to work hard for the team, willing to run in behind, willing to get on the ball. And I feel like I'm quite dangerous. I'm a, I feel like I'm an exciting player. If I get the ball, you know, I can, I can make things happen. So I have to get the ball in dangerous areas. And I feel like if I'm playing in the front three, that's where I'm going to make the most impact. So have you always been a forward player? Yeah, I've played front three my whole life, basically. I played the number 10 when I was, when I was 13, and I was, I was right at it, but I wasn't impacting games enough. Like, so my dad would always say, you know, I wasn't being effective enough. So I can play 10, but I'm just, I prefer the front three, yeah. Yeah, I have a few, obviously. Lionel Messi, someone that, you know, what he does is unbelievable. Like, I watch his highlights, and I still, still can't believe what he does. But then also, a bit of, some Americans, you know, you have Christian Pulisic who's, who's making waves in the Premier League right now. You know, he's just a small little boy who people didn't think was, was, was a big price tag, didn't think he was going to be able to do it and perform it now, which is something I look up to. And then also uh, Clint Dempsey, you know, he's a guy who's scored for the US in a World Cup. You know, watching him score against Ghana in 2014 was like, a special moment for me because very patriotic, love my country, and so that's something I dream of. I tell the boys a lot, there's a place called In-N-Out in America. It's a little burger joint that um, is quite local to me. It's only in Southern California around the West Coast. And, you know, if I'm ever after a game feeling, feeling hungry when I'm, when I'm home, it's, that's my go-to spot. Always, always a burger. So what would be your order? Um, a double burger, number one, plain meat cheese bun, and uh, ketchup as well. Still know the order. That's impressive. Oh, oh, That's oh, impressive. Of course, I need it for when I go back. <laughs> I'd like to do something I'm not really used to, because when I'm in California, I'm used to like the warm weather, the beach and stuff, you know. So I've never really um, been to like a, a holiday resort place, like a, a Tenerife or a Cabo, which is in, in Mexico. I've always wanted to kind of just go to a place where I can just relax, go to the beach, you know, see the sun because I don't see it very often here. It kind of depends on the day, to be fair. You know, I, I listen to stuff that's going to get me up for the game, sometimes stuff that's going to make me calm, or something that's going to make me... just anything that I feel is going to get me up for the game, you know? So, some positive stuff, some, some stuff I have good memories with, like, you know, songs that... Because I have kind of rituals, they'll be 
some songs I'll always play that like kind of make me feel happy, make me feel up for it. Yeah. My favorite film since I was young um, might be quite funny, but I was I watched Jurassic Park a lot when I was younger. Titanic. Um, I watched Shawshank Redemption, that was a good one, Good Will Hunting, you know, I like some of the classics as well, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll watch anything that's on the TV, to be fair. That's a good mix. Yeah, that's a good mix. just don't really mind. Don't really watch a lot of TV. I, I watched some of the Maradona Netflix thing last night, oh. so that was that was interesting, but most of my, um, most of my free time I'm spent either not really watching TV, going to the park, doing a little bit extra work, or talking to a few friends from home, just catching up, yeah.